Hello, hello, friends. We have the 13th day today. So it's Friday the 13th. Fun, fun. So let's play around and see what has shifted. And beautifully, the Venus has moved from the 19th gate. So we've had the opportunity to, to lean in, look at our needs, look at um, the flir flirtatious aspects that are are inside of all of us whether you have something defined or not defined in your in your design just know that everything's available to you it is how you express it um, that actually ends up being uh, whether it's healthy or unhealthy so you might not have the 19th gate in your design but it was there for a while for you to gain the wisdom of it now it has moved to the 13th gate and the 13th gate is I love it. It's the fellowship of man. This is this listening gate. We are designed to listen to each other. We are designed to have empathy towards each other. Uh, we are all, this is, everybody has this, this capacity. Again, if it is defined in your chart, then it is something that you um, naturally can express out to the world. If it's not defined in your chart, it is something that you have been gaining um, the wisdom over, the, your lifetime and then what happens is that you will then express it through your definition so again take a look at what's defined in your chart this is how you express yourself out into the world so in the 13th gate this as as venus is here this is values and relating relating to others through empathy so this is what we're learning as this transit moves through is um, leaning in and taking a look at where are you emp empathic in your life? Uh, where do uh, you, you really learn about the identity of the other person? Uh, where do you feel uh, that, that empathic energy flow through you? Again, all things just to contemplate uh, I, 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 human design has an absolute in the mechanical aspect, but it is your experience of all of this that animates it, brings it to life. It's just like a, a car when uh, the car can just be sitting there and it's all mechanical. It's nuts, it's bolts, it's parts, it's, um, you know, pieces, it's cloth, it's fabric, it's plastic, it's metal, but it's the, the turning on and putting the fuel through it. And the animation of you driving the car, animating it, giving it life that allows for this brand new expression to show up. Um, and, and, and the exact same thing is happening here. So what can you put in your journal today? Well, what kind of mysteries do you actually lean into when you listen to people? Do you get this capacity to see the other person in this interrelated experience that we're all walking through and see something differently than they can see to think about things differently based off of what you're hearing all things to contemplate as venus and the 13th gate are there what I love is that we are actually in the third line day, 61 and 62 sit in the third line day. And what that tells me is that there are going to be bonds made, bonds broken, um, businesses opening and closing. There will, there will be things bumping into you today. Uh, there will be aspects of um, materialism that may or may not be challenging to you. And it's just to listen, just to hear what's going on and being empathetic to yourself and to humanity. Fellowship of man. Can we actually, as a fellowship, be kind and courteous and empathic to the other? Is that something that uh, you're able to witness today? Is where does empathy lie within you? Does empathy lie within you? Um, where are those moments where you've been empathetic and you've you've gathered a lot of wisdom about it? And as the moon moves through, 
It was in the 46, which is all about determination. And now it is sitting in the 18th, which is all about work on what has been spoiled. This is this gate of, um, you know, leaning into patterns and practicing and perfection. And actually it has a deep, deep correlation with the fear of authority. What authority figures maybe, maybe in your past um, told you and you heard, you listened that, um, you know, maybe they told you that you weren't good enough, or maybe they told you that you could do anything, lean in. And that authority figure was something that, you know, maybe you believed or you, you adopted their logic and you have been, you know, stuck in their detail, stuck in their details of what it is to be human instead of you leaning into what it is to be individual and think differently about all aspects. So it's fun, again, a very contemplative uh, aspect. And I think a, a lot of, um, of what we've been doing here over the last 13 days, and I will continue to do with you, is a very contemplative process. And that's how I, 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 I get the, the deep, deep impression as I study ancient philosophers and, and I lean into the, the musings of different channeling aspects as we, as we move through humanity. And I really feel that intentionality is, is the heart and soul of where business is going. And something that I shared with you guys over the last few days was that channel of charisma in that sleeping phoenix. Charisma uh, defined and the etymology of charisma ends up being the derivative of the gift. And this is something that's inside my design It's the 3420 and I, and I recognize it. Now I'm not saying that I'm your gift. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that there is a gift locked into the 3420 around personal power and the wisdom of contemplation, because that's what the 20th gate is. That's what it is. It is contemplation. So that's what I think um, all of us require moving forward. Again, I think that, uh, I believe that, I can recognize it, that when we have an intention, when we're doing content from an intentional place, where we set our offers, in an intentional place, where we create our business structures from an intentional place. All of a sudden, what happens is we have this capacity to, to shift in the business world. And I get it. The stock market um, is all about profit. It's all about bottom line. And, and these things are, are swiftly going to the wayside as humanity awakens to the the aspect that once we are empathetic and can feel how we are using people and how people actually need to be used. And here's what I mean by that is mostly, mostly we are using people through that conditioning and and, and we're using people and breaking down their physical bodies versus being really intentional and calling forth the magic and the gifts that are inside so that so that the physical structure of the body can actually be enhanced so the business shifts so it is the the fellowship of man that becomes the the focus versus the 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 bottom line and the profit oh. now i get it we're in a capitalistic world. We are in this aspect right now as we move through this, you know, tiny little narrow piece of, of time. And this is where we are. So is income, uh, prosperity, abundance, is it available to everybody? Yes. Is it important? Of course it is. However, it is asking us as we shift into 2027, 
to stop sacrificing that that material structure which really truly is your body stop sacrificing the body the brain the aspects of yourself that are are destructive don't don't sacrifice it anymore lean into the beauty of who you are your type your strategy your authority um, lean into being able to think differently and mm-hmm. contemplate a different reality for yourself where the wealth and abundance mm-hmm. is, you know, maybe it's experiences. Mm-hmm. Maybe it is like leaning into nature. Uh, maybe it is uh, building a better uh, relational mm-hmm. network. Maybe it is getting, you know, leaning mm-hmm. into a better family network. Maybe it is building a seven figure business, but doing it from the intention of helping a hundred, a hundred, you know, a hundred thousand other human humans be better in themselves and not leading with that, that capacity for money. Anyways, that's my little chat today. So where can you be intentional? Where can you be empathetic with yourself and intentionally show up in your business? So that, or in your relationship or um, with yourself (laughs) differently, think about it differently and, and just have this capacity to shift those experiences inside of you shift that pattern inside of you so that you have a different experience and the people that you interact with also have a different experience of you all right friends have fun